Today we're going to show you how light transmission is influenced by the glazing material of your greenhouse. Before we get started, it's important to make sure that your light sensors are nice and clean. It's also important to make sure that you're on the correct setting. For example, this light sensor has a, both a sun and electric setting. And we're going to be measuring light levels from the sun, so make sure to have it on the sun setting. We're going to move into three different greenhouses glazed with either glass, a single layer, or a double layer of poly. Now that our light sensors are nice and clean, and on the correct setting, let's take a measurement outdoors as a reference. It's a bright mid-morning day in late May, and our light levels are approximately 1290 micromoles outdoors. As we move indoors, we'll see that these light levels will be reduced under the various glazing materials. We have now moved inside into a glass glazed greenhouse, which has the highest light transmission of any greenhouse glazing material. We can see that our light levels are at approximately 800 micromoles per meter squared per second. Light can be reduced in a glass glazed greenhouse by dust, pollen, algae, or whitewash. So it's important to wash the glass panels at least once a year to make sure that you remove these materials and increase your light transmission. We've now moved from a glass glazed greenhouse into a greenhouse covered by a single layer of poly, and we can see that our light levels have been reduced to approximately 730 micromoles. We are now under a double poly greenhouse. We can see that our light levels are about 400 micromoles. We've seen a quite a reduction from going from outside to into a glass glazed greenhouse to a single layer of poly and now into a double layer. It's also really important to remember that the use of shade curtains, energy curtains, and hanging baskets will further reduce your light levels in your greenhouse. Always remember the importance of light 